Manchester United are not messing about. They're getting the best in class. Omar Barada, Dan Ashworth, now into the academy with Jason Wilcox, former Man City Academy director. Sam Jewell, Chelsea's number one target, ready to leave Brighton, ditch Chelsea and go to Manchester United. There's been four or five massive names, best in class, linked to United. And it's like Manchester United can just pick out anyone they want. And people are ready to leave rivals and join this Man United Ineos project. So what is all the news? Because there's so much going on. It's so confusing to get like your head around this. Well, we're going to sum up the latest news for you on just everything going on around Manchester United in 10 minutes so you can get your head around what is happening. And then if these deals or when these deals are official, we'll do deep dive videos into each one of these staff members and why they are brilliant additions to United. So do subscribe for that. Of course, hit the like button and let's get into it. Starting with the David Ornstein bomber today on Jason Wilcox, it was said that Manchester United are working on a deal to appoint Wilcox to a senior post in their new setup. United are yet to approach Southampton for the highly rated director of football, but Wilcox is aware of interest. The job of report to the sporting director. Jason Wilcox is keen on a move to United and he could even arrive before Dan Ashworth. So this was the latest person linked to United. Jason Wilcox, a guy that's meant to be going to Southampton, was at Man City. Man City didn't want to let go of him because of how fantastic he was. But it seems like a lot of people willing to walk away from Man City. I don't know if it's anything to do with these charges. And as he's about to move to Southampton, all of a sudden Man United approached him and he's keen to come to United. Ashworth would reportedly really like to work with him. Omar Barada obviously worked with him at City and is a big fan. And I think the fact that Omar Brad is linked to this guy in the United going for this guy and the fact that David David Ornstein is reporting this guy and he wants to go to United, I have a feeling we're going to be landing Jason Wilcox. Um, if you want a bit of context on the guy, it was said by David Ornstein that he's well known and extremely highly rate, rate, rated and regarded at Old Trafford and is aware of the interest. The 52-year-old's proposed role at United would be to report into a sporting director with Ashworth's United top target for that position. So his job would be to basically report on the academy to Dan Ashworth. Now, you, if you know anything about Dan Ashworth, if you watched my Dan Ashworth dive video yesterday where I gave you a lot of information on Dan Ashworth here at Brighton, him recently at Newcastle, he has put a lot of effort priority into youth football, academy football. That's a big part of his job. And he'll want the best in class. Manchester United's current under 18s are unbeaten this season. The best crop of young players they've had and then potentially having the Man City Academy director coming in. As you can see on as you can see on the screen, oh my voice is gone. But as you can see on the screen, he obviously developed Phil Foden, Lavia, Jaden Sancho, Cole Palmer, Brahim Diaz, Aduzi, Dilap, Lewis, Wilson, Mukati. You can even look at Oscar Bob coming through. Jason Wilcox is credited with developing so many top talents. Man United Academy is the best it's ever been and Dan Ashworth prioritises Academy and this guy's worked with Omar Brada and he is seen as the perfect guy to come into Old Trafford and if this is done, if this is official and I feel like it will be done because of his links with Omar Brada, reportedly he'd want to come to United, he just needs to communicate that with Southampton, it won't be a difficult deal to do because he left Man City last month in January. This guy is one of the best in class for the academy. We know Omar Brad is one of the best in class for CEO and Dan Ashworth. If that happens, he is, for me, the best in class for director of football. So why is he really highly rated? And people are saying, well, he's left Manchester City. He's going to Southampton. Is he that good? Man City wanted to keep him, as you can see with what Ornstein said on the screen. Man City planned to keep him, but he moved from Man City. And they wanted him. They they thought he was key and in terms of the City Academy. Even though Phil Foden's the only player in the City Academy that's really come through, you look at the amount of talents that have come through the City Academy and are playing high level football right now. He was at Man City nine years. At Man City's Academy over the last nine years has produced some of the best talents that they sell on and get a lot of money for, even if they don't end up playing for Manchester City. And this guy could be coming to United. Now, Omar Brada, CEO, CFO at the City Group, had senior roles at Barcelona and Manchester City in their most successful periods. Dan Ashworth has done it at Newcastle, Brighton, West Brom, and even had very much success in England. Not only does he do recruitment, scouting, data, the academy, but we know that he's done a big job in changing the culture. And then Jason Wilcox, who's currently at Southampton in director of football role, um, and director of football is a bigger role than director of the academy, but he could come back to United as director of the academy, and that is proper structure. But it doesn't end there. We know that on top of 
Dan Ashworth, and you also want to bring someone in who's going to do recruitment, work on the recruitment side of United. And it's been said that Dan Ashworth will be given responsibility of rebuilding Manchester United scouting department when he becomes the club director of football, with Brighton head of recruitment Sam Joe identified as the leading candidate to head up a new structure. Now, I'm not totally familiar with Sam Joe on his game, but I know that uh, Paul Mitchell, who was heavily linked to United, does not want to do like a downgrade in terms of jobs of going from a sporting director to, a, to someone that's working in recruitment. Um, Sam Jewell, he works at Brighton. He's head of recruitment at Brighton. Do I need to talk about Brighton's recruitment? Do I need to talk about how good Brighton have been at buying and selling and scouting players? Probably not. If you follow football, you know that Brighton's talent ID, data recruitment is just the best of the best. And he obviously worked with Ashworth for a bit. It's believed if Ashworth comes in, Ashworth and Omar Brada will get choice of who works in the recruitment, and that will be Sam Jewell. Now, the interesting thing that was mentioned was that Chelsea really wants Sam Jewell. Chelsea are making their move for Sam Jewell now because they're fearing if Ashworth goes to United, well, he's going to take Sam Jewell with him. But no final decision has been made by Jewell yet, and staying at Brighton is also an option. But there's a feeling that he'll tell Chelsea he's staying at Brighton and then eventually make the move to United. All of a sudden, in the last few days, the last month, Omar Brada left the City Group for Man United, which was this absolute massive shock. You've then got Dan Ashworth, who's told Newcastle, yes, I want to go to Manchester United. It's going to be a very difficult deal to do and bring in Dan Ashworth. Sam Jewell reportedly would choose United over Chelsea, over Brighton. And then obviously, of course, Wilcox, the academy, the former academy director of Manchester City coming in, again, the best in class. That is four major staff members potentially coming into United. And United have gone from clowns running them, not even footballing people clowns, to almost the best in class in the exception if this pulls off. They've not just got footballing people in, they've got the best of the best. And it's like Man United, to an extent, actions speak loud in words. We have to wait and see until it's done and what the effect of this is in a year or two down the line. But it almost right now feels that like United are back in the sense of whoever we want, we get them. Oh, Newcastle thought Dan Ashworth wouldn't leave them with all their Saudi money. He's ready to go to United. City in the most successful era didn't think that Omar Barada would leave them. He's ready to go to United. Chelsea can offer Sam Jewell all the money in the world. Oh, he might pick United. Oh, Felix Wilcox, Man City were desperate to keep him in the academy. He went to Southampton because he said he wanted a promotion to be a director of football, not just an academy director of footballs. Ready to demote himself down to just an academy director of football because he wants to go to United. So it's almost like United are just playing pick and mix. They're just they're just picking up who they want and who they can get. And obviously, the main guy behind this will be Ashworth. He'll be the most important factor for me now. Omar Barada's in, and this is the guy that United need to get in. And according to the Athletic. Ineos have made it clear they want to pay for Dan Ashworth. They're, they're going to pay. They want to pay. They want to get this done. And I don't care. Pay what it takes to bring Dan Ashworth to United because I think he could be the best signing that Manchester United have made post Sir Alex. Generally think that all Man United have needed these years, and I've said this time and time again, and I'd be a hypocrite if I didn't say I thought Dan Ashworth could be our most important signing because I've sat here on live streams for over three years saying, change the structure. I don't care about changing the manager. I don't care about changing the players anymore. Change the structure because that is the most important thing. And Dan Ashworth coming in in John Murta's role would be massive. Now, if you don't know about Dan Ashworth, he did originally reject United in the past, and that's because reportedly he didn't want to work with um, John Murta. The Athletic did a really good article, giving a bit more detail on Dan Ashworth, spoke about what he did with the Brighton Youth Pathways, which is why I think he'll work really well with Wilcox, and the development of academy players, and obviously their ability to just sell players for crazy money. But he was actually approached by United in the past, and Dan Ashworth declined United because he basically didn't think he was going to be given the freedom and power to do what he needed to do. So Alex Ferguson recommended Dan Ashworth, um, but he didn't want to be working in John Murta's presence. He wanted to be in a leading position. He didn't want to be working under John Murta. I mean, the cheek of Manchester United, I look at it and I think, the cheek of Manchester United, you go to Dan Ashworth after the brilliant job he'd done at Brighton and say, do you want to work for John Murta? No, John Murta, if anything, should be working for Dan Ashworth. And that explains to you everything that was wrong with the Glazer ownership. Everything that was wrong with the Glazer ownership is the fact that they would ask Dan Ashworth if he wants to work for John Murta, not John Murta if he wants to work with Dan Ashworth. When one had achieved considerably more than the other, when one is a lot better at the footballing side of his job than the other. You wonder why we've been a big fat mess for 10 years when that has been our brains and all of that. But it's not the end here. There's more news to get into. There's more to deep dive into. I'm trying to speak fast so this video isn't too long, but then I also get to hold off for speaking too fast. But United are looking for another person to be an executive role who would be the guy between United, Ineos and potentially the uh, 
Swiss side as well, a bit like the City Group have. United want to build their own multi-club model network. They obviously brought Profundi into the Sun and then they might move into Nice, then United. You see City having players at some of their sister clubs and then can come into Manchester City. And also other reports coming out that United are keeping an eye on Roberto De Zerbi. I think Ten Hag is on trial till now and the end of the season. I think if he does well, he might stay. But if Ashworth is coming in and they want a whole new vision and blueprint and way of playing, it could potentially be De Zerbi. I have a feeling that unless things go really wrong between now and the end of the season, Ten Hag will stay because I think there's almost so much work to do at this club that maybe sacking a manager creates a little bit more work for now. That's just my mindset. I don't want Ten Hag to be sacked. Um, but I, I will back any decision that Ineos make, if it's Omar Barada, if it's Dan Ashworth making the decisions, because I think they're really good people. But guys, I hope this video was clear. I hope it was informing. I've tried to get through every piece of news that has literally come out in the last two hours in like 10 minutes for you guys. So you have some kind of start of what's going on. I know I do my live streams where I, I talk for ages, but I want to dive into the news. When these deals are official, when they're done, I'll be doing a deep dive into all of these people and how they'll change United going forward. So do subscribe for that. Thank you for watching. Bye.